Am I living for the Lord? Is he actually Lord of my life? Am I living out God's will? And how do I know that? Uh, this is a review of the message that was delivered on Sunday, May the 26th, 2024. If you missed that, this is the review or summary of, of it. Uh, that being the case, I, I'm not going to necessarily quote from the various statements in Scripture or give you the references. If you'd like the, the more detailed version of this with, with those items, then go to our, our channel and find the service for May the 26th, 2024. But how do I know that I'm actually living out God's will for my life? Uh, many people rely on their sense of, whether it comes to intuition, some kind of feeling, some kind of perspective or way of thinking that they have, that they believe that God is the one that gave that to them, and so they, therefore, are following the Lord's leading. And that's not necessarily the case. Uh, in fact, what the Bible gives heavy leaning on is it's the Bible that is God's inspired, infallible word. It's the Bible that is the revelation of God's will for our lives. And the Bible doesn't just claim it. The Bible demonstrates that throughout Scripture. The Bible will express ideas like, so that you will know that I am the Lord, so that they will know that I sent you. And then a miracle happens or some kind of fulfilled prophecy. In fact, even Jesus in Matthew 11, when John the Baptist was in prison and struggling to, to know if Jesus was from God and was the Messiah, uh, then John the Baptist sent friends to ask him, and Jesus' response was the evidence. He said, look at the miracles. Go tell him the miracles that you see. And so evidence was very much a part of the way God wanted to express that this is how we know this is God's book. The writers of Scripture were doing a completely different thing than we do. And there's nothing wrong with sensing God's leading and things like that. But we have to know that that is highly subjective, and it is fallible. It's not that God is, it's that our ability to get it right, because sometimes it's actually us, we're leading ourselves more than it is God leading us, and the way we actually can test that and know for sure is by the Bible, by the Word of God. And we have to understand this high view uh, that Scripture has of itself, and we have to know the expected response that the Bible has for us, that we're supposed to obey it, uh, we're supposed to realize that that's, that's how we know the way to salvation. It's how we know that we actually are right with the Lord, which is why it's important for us to pay attention to it. Um, we have to also know that there, there, are, uh, there are still dangers once we decide to orient our lives around the Bible. And some of those dangers are sometimes we come to the Bible believing a certain thing, and we're hoping to find affirmation for that belief. And because of the nature of the document of the Bible, we can find a way to make the Bible say what we want it to say. And we have to be cautious of that and realize, and pay attention to what's happening in our heart to see, am I doing that? Am I just making the Bible bend to my will versus me bending to its will and ultimately the will of the Lord? We also see that 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 there's an ability to twist and, and misinterpret and misapply Scripture. So we have to be really guarded to make sure that we're getting the correct meaning. Uh, just because I grab a Bible verse and run with it doesn't mean I'm running with God's will. Uh, these are things that we need to be aware of, and especially when we're trying to influence other people, our goal should be pers to persuade them to surrender to the Lord. And way, the way that looks is to orient their lives around the Bible. Uh, the Bible is what gives us clear evidence that God is speaking. And so if you have any questions on that, uh, leave that in the comments. Uh, if you have any feedback, leave that in the comments. Be glad to respond to you. If you live in the Pittsburgh area and you would like to grow in person, we'd love for you to join us at Bethel Assembly of God, 2501 State Street, Wednesdays at 6.30 and Sundays at 10 a.m. God bless.